Ryan Paling, record setter. What a game. Right here, Talking Habs with Rick. The number one Ryan Paling channel. Oof, what a game. Okay, before we get to that, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. That's all down there. That will notify you of all my videos as they come out. And yes, there's going to be many more videos during the summer. Okay, uh, question of the day. Your feeling on Paling and his future. How do you feel about Paling and his future? Please leave a comment in the comment section below. Stay tuned to the end of this video for my three stars. And I'm sorry, but it might be a long video. Okay, let's get right into it then. In the first... Oh, before it started, Price uh, won the Molson Cup. They gave it to him before the game started. He deserves it. Bob is, Was Bob Cole's last game ever. I love his voice. It's a really great hockey voice. Anyways, okay, so uh, Paling's playing tonight, like I thought he would, and Lindgren is in Nets apparently being showcased to possibly be traded in the offseason. They were talking about it before the game. Okay, so Habs looking all fired up tonight. Both teams are intense in the first few minutes. At 5.50, Hyman uh, tries a... Okay, sorry. Hyman tries a pass through the crease. It... Uh, it goes off Weber's skate right past uh, Lindgren. He didn't have any chance on that, redirected like that. It was his 21st for Hyman, unassisted. 8.03, Gardner tosses one at the net. It hits Galley's stick and deflects high. It was, go it was a low shot, it deflected high. Kind of a bobbly thing, but right over Lindgren and into the net. It was uh, Gardner's third from Marner. It was Gardner's first game back in 18 games, apparently. At 11.41, at 11.41, Ryan Paling scores his first goal in his first game. I wrote, woohoo! A scramble in the crease, and it either bounces off him or he gets a stick on it. It was hard to see because it was crowded in there. Uh, it was his first from Wheel and Delorier. Bob, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Babcock, he challenged it for goalie interference. No goalie interference. And that one made my day. So I loved watching Paling out there. It was a good first period. They can build on that and pull this one out. I think the paling goal can lift the team up. Uh, shot 16 to 14 for Toronto. I don't know if I got all the shots right. No power plays. Off to the second. 256. Paling again knocks his own rebound in right at the crease. This kid has a nose for the net. Two goals in his first game. He's a bloody stud. Uh, his set. It was his second from Petrie and Delorier. Uh, Shaw crashes into Anderson. I didn't write the time. Um, and, and the net. Knocking the net off the morning and leaving Anderson kind of lying there. He gets up. Kind of, looks like he's leaving the game, but he, he didn't leave the game. Come back in. It was a, a few minute delay. There was a, Right after that, it was a penalty to Gardner for tripping. I didn't write the time. Sorry about that. And at 7.04, Wheel streaks in on Anderson's left and converts an Ar Armia pass in the crease to take the lead. It was his eighth from Armia and Drouin, at, uh, and that was a power play goal. It was nice to see, at least they get a power play goal in their uh, last game of the season. At 8.47, uh, Moore streaks in and beats Lindgren with a wrister from the slot. It was his second from Gauthier. At 10.17, it was a wild period. A wild period. Shaw converts on, uh, on a great passing play. Lekkinen was behind the net. Um, on the on Anderson's uh, left side, but he passes it to Domi on the right side. Domi threads it through the crease to Shaw on the left side, and boom, Habs up four to three. Shaw's nineteenth from Domi and Lekkinen. Really nice passing play, beautiful goal. Uh, like I said, a wild, wild period this one. Seventeen thirty-three. Nylander on a give and go with Kadri. He swings around the net. He swings all the way around the net, and then he tucks it in past Lindgren to tie it up. It was his seventh from Kadri. Uh, Lindgren then uh, later stops Marlow on a clean breakaway. He was cleanly broken away with uh, 27 seconds left. So that was a wildly offensive second period, chance after chance by both teams. Totally fun to watch. Habs flying and letting it all hang out. Off to the third. I was pretty bad with shots. I think I got. I don't think I got this right. Toronto twenty-one, Montreal fifteen. Montreal one for one on the power play. Toronto zero oh for one. Okay, off to the third at eight oh four. Kapanen all alone in the crease. 
He roofs a Matthews pass to take the lead 5-4, just under the crossbar. It was his 20th from Matthews and Janssen. At this point, Habs not getting chances like in the first two periods. They were almost like kind of letting down, and then that changed. They started to pick it up, and bang! Hat trick for Paling to tie it up. He takes a pass from Lekkonen at the top of the circle and fires a wrister past Anderson for his third from Lekkonen and Shaw. It, what a barn burner of a game this is. Amazing. So it's going to overtime. Tied up 5-5. Amazing Ryan Paling in his debut. I was so looking forward to, well, not that the Habs should miss, but I knew if they missed, they were going to play Paling. I didn't think they'd play him if they were still in contention. Um, so I was looking forward to the one thing for this from this game is to see how Paling, what a game. This guy proved he belongs. Okay, off to the overtime. It was an edge-of-your-seat nail-biter of an overtime. No scoring. Lots of patience by both teams. Not as many shots as I would have thought being three-on-three. Three. was four shots from Toronto, two from Montreal. Obviously no power plays. And then we go off to the shootout. First up, Thomas Tatar. No goal. Second up, Matthews. Scores. Yeah. Third up, Drouin. Scores. Tied up. Or even it up. Fourth, Marner. No goal. Fifth, Wheel. He hits the bloody post. No goal. Sixth up, Tavares. No goal. Seventh up, and magically, my friend Pat, if you're watching this, you called it. Paling. Paling up, and he scores. Unbelievable. Fourth goal of the game. And Kapanen's up next. No goal, so that was the game winner. A Hattie and the game winner for Paling in his first game in the NHL. That's like, that's a record setter. I think that's a record setter. As far as I know, there was a three, a, a hat trick long time ago by a rookie. First game, but not, I don't know about four goals. Uh, he's a beast, this guy. He's going to be great. This was by far the best game of the season to watch. Exciting back-and-forth action uh, by both teams. The lead seesawing three times. Great goaltending. Overtime. A shootout to decide it. And best of all, Ryan Paling in his NHL debut. Four goals in his NHL debut. And any questions of if he's ready for the NHL, are answered in a statement game by a blue chip prospect. I can't wait to see him and KK and maybe Suzuki next year kicking ass like that. Okay, so before I give my three stars, I just I want to thank all of my subscribers. I made it to 95 subscribers before the end the season ended. I was hoping for 100, but 95 is great. Uh, I I so appreciate that. And thanks to all of my viewers everywhere. You made it worthwhile and fun in my first season on YouTube. I'll do plenty of videos all playoffs. I think I'm going to follow the, the I think I'm going to follow Tampa Bay. Uh, they have the best chance to go far and they're an East Coast team. Um, so uh, and so I'm going to do plenty of videos for all playoffs, uh, not just following Tampa Bay but other things uh, and the off season. So keep watching and I hope I can help keep the hockey feeling going all summer long. Now my three stars of this game. Lekin in. I wrote here one goal and one assist, but I think he might have had two assists, or he one goal and two assists, but or one or two assists alone. Anyways, Lekkinen involved all night in the action, had a good game, beautiful pass on that Shaw goal, beautiful pass. He deserves it. Second, Lindgren, despite the five goals against, he made 44 saves. I hope I got that right on 49 shots, and was great on so many saves, and in the shoot uh, and in the shootout. He made some really beautiful saves tonight. Impressed me a lot. And if they're showcasing him to trade him, what a game for that. And number one star, first star of the game. I'm sure you know who it is going to be. Ryan Paling. Three goals and one goal in the shootout. The game winner. What a night and what a bright future for this kid. And the future is bright right here in Montreal with the Habs. So I hope you like this video because that's my review of this game. The final review for the 2019, 2018-2019 season. Uh, my first uh, ever on YouTube and not my last. And let's see. Please, please like, subscribe, ring the bell. 
I appreciate that. I'd love to hit 100 so I can get my own URL. Uh, question of the day. Uh, your, feeling on, your feelings on Paling and his future. Your feelings on Paling and his future. And if you want to comment on the other prospects that should be up, go ahead. In the comment section below, I read them all. Um, and let's see. Yeah, that's it. So thanks for watching again. Thanks for watching all of my reviews if you did. And uh, any of them if you did. Uh, and uh, to my Finnish viewers who I got lots of viewers and subscribers from. And I really appreciate that. Kitos. Um, I'm going to put up a couple videos here. One I pick. One I let YouTube pick. Hope you enjoyed those. And that's it for tonight. I'll see you following Tampa and my other videos. I hope you follow. Have a good one. Bye-bye.